All right, welcome back and thanks for being there. So like I told you earlier before we went on the break, my guest is here. We'll be looking at the impact of the fuel subsidy remover on MSMEs, that is the micro, small, medium enterprise. My guest is seated and um, she is a business expert, someone who is into different fields. Princess Bola Akalame. Good afternoon, madam. Okay. And welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. All right, good to have you on the program this okay. morning. So I want to x-ray yeah. the impact of the fuel subsidy remover mm. on small businesses. Mm. First, we're going to start with what is MSME? Who owns an MSME? Who can actually own MSME? Let's mm. start off from there. Mm. 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 can own SMS. Okay. Uh, so it can be a sole proprietor, it okay. can be a partner, okay. partnership, uh, be organized by government, okay. controlled uh, by government. Uh, most times, uh, we discover that in a country like Nigeria, yeah. government is not really involved in SMS because when government is really being, I mean, having the, the feelings of the people. Yeah. They want to know who are forbidding this yeah. product. Okay. Who are making profit. Who are making these things not to be so much burden on people. And so the people will be happy. Let's look at the fuel subsidy of a pen. The effect is so enormous. Okay. It's so enormous. People are crying. I can tell you that people are crying daily. And uh, since the day of the fuel subsidy remover, or we, from the day of measuring fuel subsidy is remover, gone. subsidy is, is gone. gone. From that very point, Nigerians have been going through a lot of hardship. Okay. Nigerians have been going through a lot. And the effects in SMS is so minimal. Okay. A lot of businesses are going down. A lot of businesses are crumbling. And the effects on the government is going to be huge in the sense that when you have a lot of people going out of businesses, it will create unemployment. It will create insecurity in our country. Okay. And these are the things we will be fighting about. Yeah. These are the things government will be fighting about. If we really want SMS to grow, SMS to grow in Nigeria. Yeah. Government needs to put things in place. Okay. Especially the area of transportation. Because when we produce uh, a product, and at the end of the day, you are transporting those products to a, a market. And at the end of the, 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 the end use, the effects would be so much. For instance, you are bringing something from the farm. You bought it with a little of money. Yeah. And at the end of the day, this transportation effect will make that product to be very expensive. Expensive okay. when it gets to the market. Yeah. So that is the problem we find ourselves in this country. Okay. So business won't do well at all. Yeah, not doing well. Okay. All right. Now, we, we, we're we talking about the MSMEs now. Yes. What will be the real negative impact on this petrol subsidy remover? Because like you said earlier, a lot of persons are, are passing through a whole lot. Of course. So we want to look at the business itself. Okay. What will be the real effect this we have on the business per se, those that have the business? Well, like I said before, for me, People that are selling necessity, these are necessity things that people 
we eat every day. Exactly. When you when we say something, we eat every day. Of course. The effects will not be much with those people. Okay. Um, we go to the market. We we buy things that we're going to say what? The luxury. People that are into luxury. Yeah. Luxury that we like, are um, selling clothing. Okay. Uh, you are into furniture. Okay. Electronics and all of that. The effect will be so much on those people. Okay. Because I, I, there, there is, uh, I think some days ago, I went to an electronic uh, shop sure. and I wanted to buy something and I priced it. The price was on high side. And the guy was begging me to buy. And I said, no, I didn't have this amount of money to buy it. He was begging me to even sell since, I mean, for about two days now. He has not sold anything. He has not sold anything for two days. Wow. And he's begging me to buy. So this first subsidy remover, we affect those kind of businesses. Yeah. Businesses like electronics, furniture, those luxuries and yeah, things. Yeah. But people that are selling necessity like yeah. food, food, you know, those people, the effect will be, I mean, a little, a little more bit on them. on them. Because everybody needs to eat on See, daily basis. to eat on daily, daily basis. basis. You understand? Even if it's not three square meals. Even though it's not, <laughs> you know, are not even talking about three square meals anymore. Yeah. They are talking about even two or two one. Or one. At least to keep them going. Nigerians are suffering. Yeah. Uh, and I can see it's a, it's a, a business owner. It's coming from Oluku okay. to Ring Road okay. every day. Every day. And she told me, and I called and said, we are here. He said, I'm a homo. I'm not going to shop today. I'm sleeping. Hmm. Why? He said, because I didn't have transfer fee. Wow. We have fair to, 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 to the market is about one fourth. Going alone going or two and fro? Two and fro. Okay, two and fro. So, and when I go there, there's no insurance of getting one five, one five. as profit yeah. on doing businesses. Hmm. What does that show? It shows that businesses are will crumble. crumble. A lot of businesses will crumble in this mm. regime or, or administration. This, this administration, <laughs> I mean, first, Remover, first, first, first subsidy. Things are going, okay. I mean, going down and all of that. So, uh, the, the, what, what I look at it this way. A lot of businesses like uh, people that make clothes. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people that depends on fear. Okay. They run their gen every, every day. day. So by the time they look at the profit magic, they look at it this way that look, what am I making from all of this? Crime rates will be so it will enormous. Increase. It will increase to the extent that government will be will be shouting, what is happening? What is going on? So governments need to look into all of this. Okay. And they're supposed to have put all of this in place before, before. the removal. And I, I was even thinking that before you can remove subsidy, you know, you should have put things in place. Our refinery should be working. Should be working. If not all, at least if one. Oh, at least one or two. Okay. How, how can you remove for a subsidy, and at the end of the day, we don't, we, we, we are not refining any products. We have to still import we, we, now. We have to still import and all of that. So, all of this for a subsidy is on call for, for me, because Nigerians are suffering. And by the way, things are going higher, okay. and governments are increasing school fees. You know? I don't know. If these people, when they get there, if they don't have the, the feelings of the people, hmm. or they don't have what, what people are going through, or they, they are not close to people, they have going through a lot of things and all, a lot of stress. Because for me, I can't go into that government and take this kind of decision because I know the, the effects impact it's going to have on the people. It's going to have on the people. Okay. So for me, I'm, I'm, I'm still thinking what is going on in this country. Okay. Now, do business owner today, they still need to remain in business, yes, no matter course. what, whether first subsidy is removed or, or is not, not removed, yeah. they still have to remain in business because yeah. without these little small business owners, I don't think life will be comfortable for us. And I, I, can, I can tell you that small scale businesses yeah. contribute 49% of our GDP. our GDP. That's true. So if government is looking into this, that look, 
we're supposed to have something like loan yeah. to give to these people. Okay. You know? Uh, with, without interest. Interest. We, I'm not even talking about low interest now. Without interest. Interest free loans. Interest free loan. Okay. You know? Oh, we are giving you one million naira. At the end of one year, you should at least you should know what you you, you the profit you've made out of it, then profit. you bring you bring our money back, back and take your you know, uh, profit. Life will be so good. Okay. It'd be so easy for Nigeria. But don't you think um a bank of the, the bank of agriculture, yeah. the bank of industry, they are doing this? Because that is the reason why they established the, the this issue, bank. The issue of we will be heard, we, we've been seeing it on TV, okay. we, we read it on newspaper, but the, we, we've not seen the, the, reality, the reality of it all. Of it all. Okay. You know, getting to market women. Okay. You know, we, we, are, we, we heard that, oh, government release what, 10 billion, mm. 5 billion for market women, you know, for small scale businesses and all of that. But we, are, we, we, we communicate with these market women every day. There is no place yeah. that you heard that governments have given us 100,000 each year to, you know, to, to, to boost our businesses and all of that. But the, the, the last administration did yes. something related to that. When we heard of the whole trader money thing that was... Um, the uh, problem is that some individual are, are, are taking I, this I money and it. hijacking You actually money. think so? I'm telling you. Okay. Meanwhile, they will, bring, they will bring out a list or a lane that, oh, we've given a thousands of women or thousands of business uh, uh, owners, owners and all of that. Yeah. And at the end of the the reality is on ground. We are not seeing anything. Okay. You don't go to each market or go to, to, to I mean, re, 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 retaliate with those, those businesses. Yeah, have a good interaction with interaction, the business owners. You don't talk to them and ask them if they have heard or getting one error from, from government. You know, nothing. But we heard it, we, we read it on newspaper and everywhere that government is dishing out money or mm. bringing out money for all of this. But the reality is not on ground. Okay. That is the problem we are having in this country. Okay. Now, with the reality of today's Nigeria yes. now, where everything is skyrocketing, yeah. prices of goods are going, going up, up, interest rate is going up, you can't even assess the naira, naira to the dollar, the price, the exchange rate is it's going up. Hard. Now, what can owners of MSME do today to remain in business? business. Because take it or leave it, we need them out there. Of course. Without them, I don't think life will be comfortable. There's this ease you have when you open your gate, you just come out, there's a woman selling something in front of you. I, I want to buy this thing at ease without you even going to yes. the market, like the real market per se. You just get it and get what you want to, to, to eat and prepare at home. What do you think this business owners can really do mm. to stay in business in this challenging and trying economy that we are facing today, especially with the fuel subsidy removal? First of all, you have to, you have to tell yourself, you have to be confident in yourself. Okay. First of all, you, there's this inner conviction yeah. that I think no matter what happens, okay. I'm going to skate through. Okay. You know? You don't have to have this discouragement like oh like i said before yeah i called a woman and said this uncertainty that if i go to the market what will happen i may not get any money yes to go back, to go back home you know, all those and all that yeah, and all certainties that. you have to tell yourself the truth you have to be bold enough okay be positive yeah. that that business i'm going to today mm. my workshop that i'm going to do i'm going to make money Absolutely. i'm going to you know, first of all, that is the first yeah, thing. You have to have a positive mindset, mindset before leaving the leaving house. Leaving the house. So, from, from there, because things will increase. Oh, absolutely. Like, things will always increase. increase always. You know, always. Even with or without subsidy, subsidy removal. Yeah. Exactly. To increase. And by so doing, as things are increasing, you are also increasing your thing. <laughs> it's not even for you. But at the end of the day, it's having side effect on the common man on the that street. Is, that is the issue. You, you, like uh, uh, somebody told me, said, ah, I can't be buying this from the market and use a whole lot of money to transport it to the market. Yes, and, you and I'll sell it to start set, having my profit. Understand. So they must, they will put a little money on it mm. so that at the end of the day, they, they have something to go home to with. go home with. And the business will, will thrive. Mm. Okay. That is it. Okay. So they should have this inner spirit of business. That is the first thing. They should have. That is the first thing. Okay. Because without that, okay. most times when you don't have this, a conviction that, oh, this, this business I'm going to, I mean, my workshop I'm going to today, will I make anything? Let me stay back. Let me sit at home. 
You know? Yeah. By so doing, you are discouraging yourself. True. So you have to encourage yourself first. Mm. Going to that business. Like encouraging yourself in the Lord according to the Bible. Yeah. <laughs> you have to encourage yourself and say, oh, I'm going to my, I know I will make it today. Okay. Right? So when you get there, yeah. you, you, you buy and you sell. Yeah. You have to add a little money to it. And you know, but so doing, you are moving. Okay. It's just that the businesses we slow. Okay. We have to tell ourselves the truth. And a lot of, since the first subsidy removal, businesses yeah. have been slow. Slowing down. I'm telling that's, you. That's the truth. A lot no, of businesses Sometimes you, you, you go and meet somebody in the shop. You say, ah, you are not here. What happened? Hey, I can't come today because I don't even have transport. Transport fair to, to come. come. To the market yeah. or to my workshop. So you expelled all of that. True. So, and I will, I will advise again. To those people thinking of the kind of business they, they want to want go to into, do. they should go into necessity, necessities. Necessities, yeah. Business that every day needs, every day needs, yes. You know, and all of that. Absolutely. Don't go into a businesses that like a luxury mm. businesses that you feel that in a month you may not you even sell, sell anything. anything. You know, so you go into businesses that you know that. Each day you are making You're something. You're making something, so no matter how be, little it is. No matter how little it is, so okay. that you'll be encouraged. Okay. Because when you are not encouraged, when you are doing business and you are not feeling encouraged, my dear, uh, the next month you won't come to that show <laughs> or to that, you know, to do that business. All right. You know. Okay. So as we're winding down, now let's look at what the government can do to assist business owners, yes. those owners of MSMEs, yes. whether the federal government, the state government, the local government, mm -hmm. or possibly some NGOs, yes. what can they really do mm -hmm. in order to assist these business owners for mm -hmm. them to remain in business? Uh, first of all, uh, there's, when we talked about a lot of businesses, yeah. uh, businesses need electricity too. Mm. Because when we talked about subsidy removal, when we talked about subsidy removal, we talked about petroleum and all of that. Oh, yeah. When there is light, when there is electricity, a uh, lot of businesses will skate through. Okay. So when government, it's just that is in is a private uh, business now. Yes. Electricity, electricity is a, is a private business, business yeah. now. Just that we just encourage government to look into that electricity issue okay. and talk to the the, the, the the manager or whatever to make sure that we have electricity. So when there is electricity, uh, some businesses will skate through. A lot of businesses in Nigeria will skate through. And a lot of that thing is this loan of a thing. Okay. When government wake up and say, look, I think 50% uh, or 60% of business owners, we are going to elevate them with some little loans. Okay. It will elevate uh, the suffering of these people. Okay. You understand? Okay. So, an enabling environment okay. is very key. Enabling environment, when we have insecurity free, when we have insecurity free, it's where people can run their businesses, businesses without, without being scared fear, of anything. With, without fear, uh, you know. And another thing, road infrastructure mm. is very key. Okay. Because these goods we are talking about, it's moved from one place to another. To another. I can, I can tell you, there are some products, like tomatoes, yeah, from, from the, the north. north. They are so the cheap. Yeah. They are so cheap in the north. But coming down to this place, they will tell you that it's not only because of diesel. Yes. But the, the roads, roads are, are bad. bad. That is the problem we are facing. So by so doing, we are uh, a 10 trailers of tomatoes supposed to be in Benin. Are we five. are seeing five of yes. them. <laughs> so those people can marginalize those products yeah. and say, look, we have five or four uh, trailer, yeah. so we can sell it any amount of money yeah. we want to sell it. will it. not be the one determining, determining the, price. the price of those goods. So by so doing, it, and, the effect... And, and also the distance, some of the, 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 the tomatoes might have gotten spoiled. Spoiled! The time they would because take on the road. When you, when you pass through the road, yeah. especially this, this uh, Binia, Binia, Abuja, Abuja road, yeah, those people will tell you what they are passing Passion through. through. Their products will go spoiled and all of that. So you can imagine the economic impact, impact it, will it will have on these people. Yeah. So when we have a good road, you know, we have security. Because I can still tell you that a lot of people, a lot of our farmers, they don't longer go into the to farm, farm just because of insecurity. insecurity. They are afraid. 
And that is why you see farm produce are so expensive these days. Absolutely. Something you can get from within a distance of 100 kilometers, you discover that it's very expensive just because of insecurity. Nobody wants to go to the farm, farm anymore. anymore. So that is the problem we are facing. So if all of these are in place, my dear, Nigeria will be a better place. And business owner will be smiling to the bank. Okay. On that daily basis. On daily basis. All right. Let's now narrow it down to this present administration that came on board May 29. Okay. Um, President Bola Tinobu has been in office now for the past one month, if okay. I'm not mistaken. Of May 29 to June 29 yes. is one month. Yeah. Now, how should he also, his yeah. administration, that's the federal now, yes. work towards helping and ameliorating the plight of business owners. Because we are now expecting that when he start releasing the list of maybe ministers, we mm. should see someone who is really an economist, as yes. the Minister of Finance or yes. Minister of Economy. Of we should not see a lawyer oh, doing the job position. of, you understand? Yes. So how, what advice do you now have for this present administration in order to help MSME grow mm. in a challenging Nigeria of today, this yeah. very administration? Uh, the first thing, I think uh, I read it or I watched it on TV, on national TV, it is yesterday okay. that uh, some taxes is reducing some yeah, taxes yes, and all yes, of that. Yeah. That is the first thing. I, I didn't mention. I didn't mention it earlier that taxes is also a part of is it. part of problems okay. of business uh, owners right. because when we, you know, there are some people they run out of business. Yeah. They they when they we saw some people coming. You know, we have not grown in this country. We have not gone to the stage of. Oh, you, you allow accountants uh, to help you to prepare your state of, your account. statement of account. account. So you see individual, just, oh, I made this, oh, look at the amount I'm going to pay and all of that. So a lot of people are still running away from all of this. Mm. When uh, local governments uh, tax, revenue tax, the revenue collector, tax they will come, they will just write, write any amount of money give to, you. to give you. I mean, I mean, this is the amount you are going to, to pay. pay. State will come and say, this is the amount you are you're going, going to pay. pay. Because you don't have statements of accounts. You understand? So that really affects a lot of businesses. And because of ignorance, and that is the reason why some people cannot I mean, prepare a statement of accounts. So when we remove tax, when taxes are so reduced, reduced okay. from these businesses, okay. I think they will strive. I think that is the first thing. Okay. And secondly, government needs to, I mean, give, uh, they should be genuine about it. We, be, we heard about it before, that they are giving loans and all that. They should be open that. and transparent. Transparent in this. Okay. This is a new administration. Yes. I believe that uh, it wants things to work. to work. So it should, the, this government should, I mean, budget some amount of money for some businesses. Okay. So that some businesses will strive in this country. Okay. And another thing they should look into is this roads. Roads, is, uh, roads are bad in this country. Okay. If you want businesses to strive on, they should look into that also. Very important. Okay. And electricity, we can't take away electricity in businesses okay. and all of that. So those are the things governments need to look into okay. so that uh, businesses can try mm -hmm. on. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much, uh, you for, Princess for. Bola Akalame, a business so expert who have come to x-ray what the government should do with the impact of fuel subsidy remover on small businesses. Because we can see that today, small businesses are really struggling. They are struggling a whole lot to remain in business. Thank you very much for coming on Thank the program so much this afternoon. Me. It was a delight having you join me Thank on you. the program. Thank, Thank you so much. And that is the size of our package today on the program Business This Week. We'll be back again next week, Friday, for another edition on the program. On behalf of the entire team that make the program a success this afternoon, I am Lawrence Usifo saying do have a beautiful afternoon ahead of you and a lovely weekend. Bye for now.